Welcome to the Tech Mind Factory video blog. I'm super excited that you visited my channel. I hope you will find this video helpful and interesting. If so, please subscribe at the end because this will be the sign for me to produce more videos. And now, enjoy watching. In this video, I would like to talk about knowledge mining solution built on the Azure Cloud. I know that knowledge mining can be challenging, especially without the right tools. That's why I decided to create this video. I also encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com and read the article called How to build knowledge mining solution on the Azure Cloud. Okay, great, so let's jump in. Before we jump in to the Azure services, let's stop for a minute and discuss what, what knowledge mining is. So, to make it simple, you can think about knowledge mining, it's the process that enables you to get relevant data from many different types of the documents you can have in your company, for instance. So, PDF files, Word files, Excel files, PowerPoint presentations, images. So, you can get the data from those files then you can apply some enrichment. I will discuss in a minute what it is. But you can, you can focus on some relevant parts of the document, some insights. And then at the end, you can explore, using many different tools, you can explore this collected data. And knowledge mining works by orchestrating the overall enrichment pipeline that consists of three main phases. Ingestion, enrichment and exploration and analysis. So let's discuss ingestion first. Data ingestion is the process of aggregating raw data, structured or unstructured. So this is really important that, that we can have, for instance, a SQL database. Uh, we can have some other structured data, yeah? And we can, on the other side, have unstructured data like PDF files, doc files, etc. So, data ingestion is the process of aggregating raw data from these unstructured and structured documents from various silos, sources and locations into a persistent centralized data store. So, you can get the data from many different types of the document and then you can store this data in one centralized data store. Document cracking is the process of extracting or creating text content from non-text sources, like images, for instance, often using optical character recognition. So you can, you can uh, try to imagine that there are some images uh, through your documents that you would like to also analyze. So in this case, you can use OCR uh, to apply document cracking. The next step is enrichment. Once the data is ingested and cracked, we can apply AI enrichment on the raw data extracted before to identify patterns, obtain information and gain understanding from the text contained within images, blobs and other unstructured data sources. So, you can try to imagine that once you collect the data from those many different kind of documents, like images, like text documents, like from, from database, tables, etc., you can now apply AI enrichment. You can use cognitive services in Azure to get some information, like for instance, extract faces from, from the images or extract sentiment from, from the text. So it's really interesting. It's also worth to say that most enrichment pipelines start by leveraging pre-trained natural language processing and computer vision AI services available in the Azure cloud. So in this case, Azure Cognitive Services. Once we collect the data and we apply enrichment using Azure Cognitive Services, there is third step, exploration and analysis. This step might mean adding the documents to a search index in the Azure Cognitive Search Service, for instance, or writing them out to a storage location. Exploration is the process of reviewing the added enrichments to learn more about the collected data. Analysis usually refers to the application of analytics tools, such as Power BI, Azure Machine Learning, or Azure Databricks. 
for exploring and gaining a deeper understanding of enriched data. Great, so now we can discuss how we can build knowledge mining solution on the Azure cloud using available services. The main service that enables you to create knowledge mining solution is called Azure Cognitive Search. Azure Cognitive Search is a search as a service cloud solution that gives developers APIs and tools for adding a rich search experience. So with Azure Cognitive Search, for instance, you can add search experience to your mobile applications or web applications. Azure Cognitive uh, Search uh, provides two ways to ingest the data. So the first one is called pull the data. So we can pull data in the index using Azure Cognitive Search Indexer from the supported Azure data source like Azure Blob Storage, Azure Table Storage, Cosmos DB or SQL Database. And the second approach we can use and the second, uh, second model of, of ingesting the data is called push. So we can push data directly in the index programmatically. The push model relies on custom applications to push documents directly in a search index programmatically. Applications can use either the Azure Cognitive Search REST API or Azure, Cogni Azure Cognitive Search SDK for .NET to send data into the index. So in this case, uh, we need to create a, a custom application that will use either Azure Cognitive Search REST API or SDK to ingest the data. So the previous approach, so the pulling data, is much easier because we can indica indicate the data source and then Azure Cognitive Search will do the rest. In the second approach, so in the push data, we have to add some custom application that will handle this data ingestion. The second service that we can use building knowledge mining solution is called Azure Cognitive Services. When using Azure Cognitive Search to build a knowledge mining solution, there is a wide range of pre-trained Microsoft Cognitive Services we can integrate with. And here are some examples of such Azure Cognitive Services we can uh, use during the enrichment process. Like Vision API, so Face API, Computer Vision, Form Recognizer. There is also Language API, so Text Analytics or Translator uh, Text API. So you can try to imagine that, for instance, if you have uh, forms, documents, you can use Form Recognizer to get the data from different tables in the document. Or you can use translate, Translator Text API to translate the original text from the documents. But this is not the end, because we can also integrate Azure Cognitive Search with Azure Functions. And Azure Functions are ideal for implementing custom skills that are used during the AI enrichment phase. So Azure Function can be called and then call other cognitive services like Form Recognizer during the enrichment process to analyze document content and return results so they can be passed to the Azure Cognitive Search. So once we ingest the data, uh, to uh, from from different sources like from from uh, Azure Blob Storage, there are uh, PDF files, for instance, with tables. What we can do, we can pull the data. We can uh, we can send those PDF files to the Azure function. This Azure function will call uh, Form Recognizer, for instance, will get the analysis result, and then will pass this analysis result to the Azure Cognitive Search. So this data will be available in the Azure Cognitive Search Index. And if you would like to learn more how to build custom skills, I encourage you to visit my GitHub repository, Azure AI, because there I created a custom skill, uh, of course, using Azure Function, that calls Form Recognizer to extract the content from PDF files that contain some, some um, uh, tables with data. And of course, this was an introduction, but I would like to also say a few words about real-world scenario. 
Together with my friends from Pretty uh, Team, uh, recently we uh, provided, we delivered project, uh, knowledge mining project uh, for, uh, for, for one of the organizations in the Middle East. And in this solution, we used Azure Cognitive Search, we use Azure Functions, we use Azure Cognitive Services, Cosmos DB and Azure Web Apps. And in general, what's happening here, there were many different documents, so technical request details, uh, because this, this, was, um, uh, this was the um, uh, customer related with airlines. So there were, there were different, uh, different documents that uh, contained information about uh, instructions how to repair aircrafts. And try to imagine that there were a lot of documents, a lot of different PDF files. So what we did, we, uh, we ingested the data from these PDF files. We also use Azure Cognitive Services and custom skills, including Formicognizer here, uh, to apply enrichment, to, to get the relevant data from these PDF files. And then we ingested this data to the Azure Cognitive Search Index. So at the end, we, we have a web application that is connected with web API and this web application can display interface to the user and user is able to search some phrases that, uh, that can appear in these documents, in these PDF files. So at the end, there is user interface. You can type like, for instance, broken landing gear and you will receive the results, the files that contain possible solution. Okay, great. So right now I would like to do a brief overview of Azure Cognitive ser Service in the Azure portal. Here it is, Azure portal. As you can see, I've already created Azure Cognitive ser Service. But if you would like to create one, you can click Add in the new resource group. And here you can type in the search box, type search, and there will be Azure Cognitive Search. And then we can click Create. And of course, we can we, we have to provide some details like the name of the service, location and pricing tier. But right now, as I mentioned, I've already created uh, Azure Cognitive Search. I can go to it, open the blade here. And as you can see, there are some uh, different buttons I can use. I can add index manually so I can define different fields that will be available in my search index. And I can decide what types of, uh, of what type of data uh, is under this specific field, like like string or collection, uh, something like like this. And I can also decide uh, whether uh, such field will be searchable, uh, sortable, filterable. So many different options here. But I will not create index manually. What I can also do here, I can import the data. So, uh, as I mentioned before, this is the first option that we can select one of the uh, compatible, compatible uh, data sources and we can uh, pull the data. So, as you can see here, uh, I can uh, choose the existing data source or I can use samples. So, first of all, let me briefly uh, discuss those data sources. So, as I mentioned during the presentations, uh, you can select uh, available uh, data source that is compatible with uh, Azure Cognitive Search. So, in this case, I can select, for instance, Azure Cosmos DB. And here you have to provide the details uh, related with uh, this specific data source. So in this case, Azure Cosmos DB account, the, the source name, data, database name, etc. But if you would like to play with Azure Cognitive Search, you can select samples. And here, as you can see, we have two different sample data sources, SQL database and Cosmos DB. So I can click Hotel sample here and click next add cognitive skills. So in the next step, what we can do, we can attach cognitive services. So it means that once the data is ingested, we can use Azure Cognitive Services to apply OCR, for instance, or we can connect some other cognitive services that will be used during the enrichment process. So as you can see, right now there is a free tier applied but if you have a production solution, I really recommend to create a dedicated cognitive services instance here. 
There is also enrichment, as you can see. So uh, we can add some enrichments here. So for instance, we can extract people names. We can extract location names. Uh, detect language, translate language. So many different, uh, many different options. But I will leave it as it is right now. And I will uh, skip uh, to customize, uh, customize the tags, the, the target index here. And as you can see right now, my index contains such fields like hotel ID, hotel name, description, category, and some other fields, as you can see. So those fields were created once I connected the data source. So in this case, Azure Cosmos DB. I can click next and decide to create uh, an index. So what I can do, I can click submit. And what is happening right now, uh, underneath there is indexer being created in Azure Cognitive Search. And all data from this sample Cosmos DB is being pulled. There is enrichment applied. And at the end, there will be a search index available for us to search some phrases. So let's see what's happening next. Once the data is in the search index, as you can see, we have one index and one indexer. So what we can do, we can click Search Explorer here. And for instance, we can click Just Search. And as you can see, all the data available in the search index is available for us. So let's see what we have here. There is hotel ID, hotel name, description. So we can see that there is a data related with hotels. And as you can see right now, uh, I didn't apply any search queries. So right now I see all the data available in my search index. Of course, we can apply different queries. So as you can see, there are many different hotels, but let's try to find this gas capital. So I will use query string uh, text box and here I will type search equals gas capital and I will click search. And as you can see in the search results, we have uh, only one search result. It's gas capital hotel. And if I scroll down, I can see the data only related with this specific hotel. So as you can see, data was filtered out. So it is much easier to apply searching in your web and mobile applications because you can try to imagine that you have a mobile app and to, to uh, create a reservations in hotels and customer can open the list with different hotels and can uh, search for this specific hotel. And it will be much easier to display search result data using, using Azure Cognitive Search. Of course, there can be another scenario where you have many different documents in your company, many different types, and you would provide a simple solution and easy way to filter out all the documents. I also encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com and read the article How to build knowledge mining solution on the Azure cloud. I hope you will find many interesting details how to build knowledge mining solution and you will try to play with Azure Cognitive Search. And of course, all the links will be available in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. If you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to contact me either on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, I encourage you to visit my blog techmindfactory.com. See you in the next video.